Have you heard about the claims of rosemary oil and castor oil for hair growth? Does it seem like it's a bit too good to be true? Well, I feel the same way. And that's why I bought both oils, to test and see which, if any, would make my hair grow faster than it normally does. For the past three months, I have been applying rosemary oil on one half of my head and castor oil on the other, 30 minutes to an hour before washing my hair. Now, my goal was to see which one made my hair grow faster, but I'd settle for which one makes my hair shiniest, softest, makes my scalp feel the best, any of those you'll be a winner. But mostly I just wanted to see one half of my hair longer than the other. So let's start off with my experience with the two oils. It smells minty. Now there are claims that rosemary oil can help you regrow hair if you're balding or you have bald spots, but I am not here to test that. I'm just here to test if it will make my hair longer, if it will make my hair grow faster. So I applied two to three dropperfuls of oil onto my scalp and massaged it in. And then I also distributed it down to my lengths and ends and made sure to add a little bit more oil on my lengths and ends. it's a lot thicker than the rosemary oil. So the rosemary oil was very thin, lightweight, easy to apply, very great smelling. On the other hand, the black castor oil, not as much of a pleasant experience, was thick, sticky, hard to apply, and overall just did not smell very good. But that's okay, as long as it does good things for my hair, it doesn't matter if it smells bad for an hour. In the beginning I actually thought that the black castor oil did better at soothing my scalp than the rosemary oil did, which I was pleasantly surprised. Since the castor oil is cheaper, I like to pinch a couple pennies every once in a while. But the real question we're all here for is which side made my hair grow faster? And I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, let's go over the arbitrary how I feel kind of results. So for my scalp, I say the oil that was best for that was the castor oil. The castor oil actually managed to ease my itchy scalp for a little while. As far as shininess goes, I think they're pretty equal. They're both oil, both make my hair shiny. For softness, I'd say they're tied on that as well. I really didn't notice much difference in softness after I started using them. And now, let's go for ease of use. I would definitely say that the rosemary oil was a lot easier to use than the castor oil, given that the castor oil was extremely thick and it didn't have a dropper, and I was too lazy to go get a dropper. So, rosemary oil wins on that one. Now I know the moment you've all been waiting for this entire video. Was there a difference between the two sides in how long my hair was at the end of this experiment? Well, let's take a look. Yeah, there wasn't. Well, if you liked that video, I'm sure you'll like this one as well. It's picked especially just for you. In it, you will learn how to grow your hair just as long as mine, so I'm sure you'll love it.